Hello, I am Eduardo Torres, and I will present our work on digital competence in educators through the interaction with a virtual learning environment. The COVID pandemic has changed education. Now, more than ever, we are using technology inside and outside our classes, either to teach our sessions or as a tool to complement our teaching. For example, at La Salle Campus Barcelona, we have changed all blackboards to digital boards. Now we can share contents with the students both inside and outside our campus. This increment in digital technologies raises a question. Are teachers prepared to be part of this change? Moreover, are the teach our teachers digital competent? The European Commission, among other institutions, have been trying to define what digital competence is. In 2017, the European Commission released DICOMEDU, a framework for digital competence in educators. This framework defines a total of 22 competences classified in six areas. Those areas organize the digital knowledge and skills educators should acquire to develop their profession. The framework also proposes a progression model. This model defines six competences levels following the same system as the common European framework of reference for languages. Now that we have a framework uh, to know how to assess our teachers' digital competence, we needed a tool. Most tools we could find while searching the literature were uh, self-assessment questionnaires or knowledge tests. But our goal is to find or define a tool that can assess teachers based on their interaction with a virtual learning environment. As our university uses Moodle, we decided to ask ourselves if Moodle activities and resources can be mapped to the competences of the Comedo. We analyzed the 25 core activities, resources, and tools that Moodle have in a standard installation, plus, 60, plus 26 plugins we have installed in our university. We could identify a total of 165 indicators from relating the 55 Moodle elements to the 22 competences of the framework. As we could see in our results, Moodle does not equally represent all 22 competences. Some areas will have fewer indicators than others. Virtual learning environments focuses on the student. Therefore, competences that focuses on professional collaboration or development cannot be assessed. In addition, the interaction that a proficient user has with Moodle will not always show the reflection underlying this interaction. Likewise, it is important to notice that, all, that we can only determine the user's interaction with the system, not their intention. On the other hand, as, as a virtual learning environment, Moodle focuses on the student, providing materials, assessments, and tools to enhance learning. With Moodle, proficient educators can put to work the technological pedagogical content knowledge, as defined by TPAC. To conclude this presentation, we want to emphasize that current assessment tools based on self-assessment have limitations. Therefore, we need to research new tools to expand the options one has. Even though we found some limitations while conducting this study, we can claim that a large part of the competences defined in DECOMEDO can be analyzed by studying the interaction teachers have with a virtual learning environment such as Moodle. Our recommendation would be to mix different assessment tools to get a better understanding on the digital competence level of our educators. Thank you very much for your time. We hope you enjoyed this presentation.